have a special tag I wanted to do today. I thought it'd be fun to do the furry friend tag. I get a lot of questions about Winnie all the time. You guys love seeing her on Instagram and Facebook and on her blog, which I've been really bad about posting to over the last few months. She, I knew she wasn't going to be into this. Can you sit with me so they can see you? Let's see if she'll settle in. Oh, okay. Well, she's in the video, right? We're in the frame. Anyway, I wanted to do this tag for a long time and also address, I get so many questions about Winnie's YouTube channel. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk about that first. Winnie is my dog, if you're not familiar. Um, she's a Shih Tzu. I'm going to get into the questions in a second, but I do have a YouTube channel for her. It's Winnie the Zoo Tube. Um, I will link it. I haven't posted on it in quite some time, and that's because it, it never I never thought of it as a channel. I never, when I started that channel, it wasn't to be a channel. It was really just to have a place to host videos for her blog, specifically, just to supplement her blog. I never thought of it as a standalone thing. Um, and honestly, I just haven't, I mean, I did her whole puppy series, and I did her whole grooming series, and then I just couldn't really think, and I did a couple of other videos too, and I couldn't really think of anything else to post. So, um, if comes, if comes, if there comes a time in the future where I think of something I want to talk about for her blog that's better in a video, I will post there, but um, until then, probably not. But you can catch Winnie in my vlogs um, and also, you know, like I said, on my social media. And I'm trying to get back into being better about posting on her blog, WinnieTheZoo.com, more regularly. It's just a fun thing for me to do. It's a lot less time consuming than like, my actual blog, OrganizedGen.com, Winnie's blog is actually hosted on Tumblr, which is just a very kind of easy to manage thing. Um, but it's definitely one of the things I drop first when I have a lot on my plate um, with my other content in the last couple of months of being cray cray. So anyway, I am trying to get back into it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the furry friend tag, but I thought it wasn't quite enough questions, so I asked for some of your questions too. Um, so I'm gonna get into those in a minute. And we Winnie actually is a very lively dog. She's just, um, you know, she's mid midday chilling here. But uh, hopefully she'll stay in my lap, so at least she's in the frame for the video. Okay, question number one, what is your pet's name? Well, we've already addressed that, it's Winnie. What kind of pet or breed is she? She's a dog. Yes, she is a dog, although I sometimes think she's part cat. Uh, because just because of the way that she really loves napping and curling up on top of like the back of sofas and napping and things like she has some cat like tendencies. Also, she likes to like rub her face kind of like cats do on people and things. Um, anyway, but she is a Shih Tzu and she is a dog. How long have you had her? I've had her since she was 10 weeks old. Uh, how did I get her? I got her from a breeder that I researched. You can actually go to the um, Shih Tzu, oh, I don't know the actual name of it now, but the Shih Tzu Official Association. I will link it below and they will list um, association like approved breeders. And I just looked for breeders that were within driving distance from me and I kind of set, I think it was like a, like a two hour drive limit <laughs> and that's how I found my breeder. I was through a Shih Tzu Association approved thing. Um, there are also Shih Tzu dedicated rescue groups if you're interested in adopting or rescuing a dog. Um, there's that as well. I don't um, recommend buying pets from a pet shop or from non-reputable or non you know, approved breeders because you never know if you're getting a puppy mill dog and it's better not to support that industry if at all possible. How old is Winnie? Winnie is five. She'll be six in August, August 14th to be exact. What are some quirky things about her personality? Well, if you see her in the background of my videos, like my lifestyle videos, whenever I film in my bedroom, I let her sit on the bed behind me. Winnie loves lounging. That is like one of her favorite things to do. She is a very chill dog. But then again, she has a real playful, um, perky side. You probably don't see it in the videos because whenever I'm talking to a camera, she just knows that I'm not really paying attention to her and it's not her time. And so she chills, which is actually really good. She's actually very relaxed and very well behaved. Um, 
but she's definitely a little diva. Like, if you mess up her hair, she'll kind of like, um, <laughs> like shake it out so it kind of falls back naturally, <laughs> which is funny. Uh, she absolutely, absolutely loves people. She prefers people to other dogs for sure. Um, in fact, when we're walking down the street and we come across somebody walking a dog, she'll go right for the person. She'll like bypass the dog and she'll go right for the person. Um, what's quirky about her? She really has a very established sense of like a really, a real personality, I would say. Um, and she always has. She's, um, she's very, I would say she's very, she's, a, she is a diva and the Shih Tzu breed was you know, actually um, bred back in imperialist China um, to be royal pets. And their purpose was to, you know, be the companions of the emperor and empress of China. And so she definitely carries that air of regality. Is that a word? Regality? She's, she's a regal girl. She is a princess for sure. Uh, but she's also just a love bug. She follows me everywhere in the house. She likes to be in the same room as me. Um, I don't know if these are really quirky things, but she I think her divaness is probably her quirkiest personality trait. What, oh, what does my relationship with her mean? It means everything to me. Winnie is my angel. That's what I think of her as. She's just, she is, she brings such joy in my life. I can't remember life without her. Um, I mean, I'm, of course I can't, but you know what I mean? When, when something or someone makes such a deep impact on you, it's hard to remember how it felt before you had that person or that whatever in your life. And Winnie is definitely like that for me. She is, she is my angel. She is my, my constant companion. If I could bring her everywhere with me, I would, but the dog hater lawmakers in this country make it very impossible to take her very many places at all. But whenever I can take her with me, I do because we're like, you know, we're like partners in crime. She's my little sidekick. What are some of my favorite pastimes with Winnie? Well, we go for a daily walk every day. I would say rain or shine, but if it's really raining, that's the only weather we don't really walk in. If it's like raining really hard, I'll take her out if it's just drizzling, but if it's raining pretty hard, or if it's like thunder and lightning, that's the weather we don't go out in. But we go out in snow, we go out in cold, we go out in heat, um, and I really look forward to our daily walks together. I generally take her, depending on the weather, um, for anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes um, at a clip. And sometimes I'll take her for a shorter, like when it gets hotter, I'll take her for shorter walks first thing in the morning and then another one, you know, in the evening when it gets dark. Um, kind of split it up so she doesn't overheat. Um, so that's definitely there. Uh, snuggling, obviously, she is a snuggle bug. If you can tell, she's totally settled into my arm. One of the things she likes to do, we call it the chin. Uh, the chin hold is she will like dig her chin into your arm or whatever she's resting on part of your body and like it's like a seat belt she secures herself to you and right now she's got her chin on pretty hard she's like hooked into my arm <laughs> so uh, snuggling traveling uh, walking just spending time together okay what are Winnie's nip games Winnie has about a thousand and eight nicknames. I will try to list the most frequently used ones. Winnie, Win Win, Winnie Girl, Little Girl, uh, Little One, Little, Angel, Angel Face, uh, Bunny, Bun Bun, Boo Boo, Little Woo, Little Woo Woo, um, Princess, Diva. I don't call her Diva that often, only when she's being really sassy, but I do call her Princess quite a lot. Uh, munchkin, Little Munch, Munchy Face, Munchy. Um, I think those are the most popular ones that I use for her, for sure. I only really ever call her Winnie when I like really want her attention or I'm like trying to do, trying to have her come to me or you know when I'm, it's more serious I call her all of those other things most of the time. Um, one of my favorite things to call her is Munchkin because she is such a little munch. You are such a little munch. They're not gonna think you're a real dog because you're like not moving. Okay, and then I reached out on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and asked you guys if you had any other questions because I thought the tag was kind of short and I wanted this to be a more, you know, involved video because uh, I do get so many questions about Winnie. So um, I have picked a few that seemed the most common, most frequently asked. 
How do I keep Winnie clean? Um, I bathe her every two to three weeks, or I try to stretch it out as long as possible. Shih Tzus have very sensitive skin, and washing them too frequently can dry out their skin. When she was younger, I could wash her more frequently. I washed her once a week. But now that she's older um, and her skin's a little more delicate, I just kind of stretch it out. If I can do three weeks, I do. It's usually somewhere between two to three weeks. Um, every day we come in from a walk, I wipe her paws with baby wipes. Um, and if they are really severe, like sometimes in the winter and spring, if it's muddy or just like really dingy outside and she gets like, she's a white long haired dog, she gets dirty. Um, I'll actually give her a little paw bath and that's basically where I hold her at the sink and I just run her feet under warm water with a little um, shampoo and then I dry her off. It's, it saves me having to give her a bath more often than necessary and keeps her clean because she's allowed on any of the furniture in our house um, and she sleeps in our bed. So I try to keep her as clean as possible. And I do groom her every day. Um, grooming, general grooming for me with Winnie takes anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes depending on what I'm doing that day. I kind of s split up during the week if I'm like cleaning her ears or trimming her paws or whatever, but I always brush and comb her every day. And I do use a conditioning grooming spray, which also keeps her looking a little bit clean and smelling fresh. How did I decide on a Shih Tzu? Well, I actually knew for a long time that I wanted a smaller dog because we travel so frequently to the family home in Utah. I wanted to be able to bring my pet with me and I just, I've heard like bad things. I know sometimes you just have to travel with a pet in the cargo hold if you have a bigger dog, but I didn't want to subject my animal to that on a regular basis if I didn't have to. So I wanted a pet that I knew I could bring in the cabin with me. You pay an extra fee and they they have to be in a like an airline approved carrier and they have to fit under the seat in front of you. And you still, like usually her ticket even costs more than mine. Uh, but to me it's worth it to have her on the plane with me. She's a well seasoned traveler. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did a travel video with her on Winnie the Zoo tube quite a long time ago. If I can find it, I will link it for you guys. But I knew I wanted a small dog and I kind of had it narrowed down to a Shih Tzu or a um, King Charles, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. I think that's the name, like the full name. And I actually did research on both breeds and I decided on the Shih Tzu because the personality just seemed better fit for, for me and for my family, you know, me and Don. And also I had grown up hearing so many stories about my parents' Shih Tzu. They had a Shih Tzu before I was born. Um, Choo Choo, his name was. And when they lived in New York City and I just had so many memories, even though he was never part of my life, I didn't have a pet growing up um, with the um, exception of a goldfish, which lasted one week, but that's another story for another day. Um, it's a little bit traumatizing. Anyway, uh, I'd grown up hearing stories about Choo Choo and so I always had this like kind of positive connection with Shih Tzus. And once I started researching the breed, I just, I just knew it was gonna work out. Um, Shih Tzus are extremely loyal and friendly and usually pretty easy going. I think, you know, it kind of depends on on the dog you get, but generally they're, they're just easy going, like really personable dogs. How did I choose her name? I actually didn't choose her name. Um, my mother-in-law, Suzanne, figured out her name. Um, and, and how it happened is, you know, I had, gotten in contact with a breeder before the puppies were born and um, said, you know, if you have, if you have a dog available, I'd love to, you know, I'd love to <laughs> see, visit and see and, and maybe take one if, you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, so I knew once Winnie was born, well, you actually saw her when she was two days old. And then I went and visit her, visited her like once a month. I drove, I drove up. Um, the breeder was in Wisconsin. Um, to visit her. But so I knew that I was going to have her starting in August because I knew that there was a, a dog available for me. I didn't know which one yet, but I knew that there was a dog for that from that litter that I was going to be able to buy. So when we went out to Utah for the summer trip uh, with the family, we were I was talking to Suzanne about possible names and I you know was asking she was brainstorming with me and she was like, well, how about Winnie? And I loved it. And I just kept thinking about uh, Winnie from the Wonder Years with the big brown eyes, you know, that character, the little girl. And I just kept thinking of Winnie's big brown eyes and it was, it was like a match, perfect, perfect match. And that's how the name came about, about. 
I don't know why I said that. How did I train Winnie? I never had a pet before, let alone a dog. Um, and I really, even though I did a lot of research and, and reading books, I read a lot of books before I got brought Winnie home. I knew that I was gonna need some hands-on help. So what I looked for was a trainer who would train me to train her. So actually when Winnie was a, about 12 weeks old, so I brought her home at 10 weeks. So we started training pretty soon after that. She was maybe 12 or 14 weeks old when I hired the trainer who basically walked me through how to train her. He trained me and that's what I really was looking for because I learned through my research that the person who is most in, like most responsible for the dog, it's, that, it's most important for that person to train the dog directly. Um, whereas if you hire somebody to train your dog for you, they might do what that trainer says, but when that trainer leaves, they might not do what you say. Um, so I knew I wanted to train her myself, so I hired a trainer to train me. What does Winnie smell like? Oh, this was a funny question. Winnie smells like a princess all the time. Winnie's characteristics as a puppy. It's so funny when Winnie, when Winnie was a puppy and still lived with her, you know, with her brothers and sisters and her mom and dad at the breeder. She was the ringleader. She was kind of a little bit bossy. She was definitely in charge of the group. She, she was the leader of the pack of the puppies. Um, as soon as I brought her home, she became a beta dog, like instantly. I clearly was the alpha to her. And now she has such a, like a follower personality. It's so funny how that switched as soon as I brought her home. Um, she's definitely not a leader, but I wouldn't have assumed that from when I first met her because she was such like a little leader in her little group. Um, but she definitely defers to me for everything and she is my little, she's my little munchkin. How does Winnie get along with other dogs or, and or kids? Um, Winnie, like I said, just really prefers people. She's not really huge fan of other dogs. And this is mainly my fault because I didn't properly socialize her when she was young. I did take her to a doggy daycare when she was really little for like maybe up until she was about six or eight months old. I took her to a local doggy daycare just two days a week for a couple of hours because I wanted her to socialize with other dogs. And we tried it for a few months and she was just, she was just panicked by the other dogs and they could see that she was panicking and they would always bring her to the like front office away from the other dogs. Um, so that kind of failed. I just don't think she's ever really been a big fan of other dogs. She's just really intimidated by them. Um, the only time you'll ever hear Winnie bark really is when the doorbell rings and it's more just like a, like a greeting bark. It's like a one or two time bark or when she comes across another dog and it's mostly when it's a bigger dog. Um, when it's a dog that's her size or smaller, she'll be a little bit less intimidated and a little more curious. But after a time, if they don't start playing with her, she'll bark at them. She gets kind of bossy. I don't think she's like anti-social. She's just, she just loves people so much and that's because that's who she spends the most time around. Winnie is really good around kids though. Um, whereas she, Tense, she has a bad habit of kind of jumping up a little bit, like getting on her high legs to get attention from adults. Um, it's one of their habits I really slacked on um, nipping in the bud. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty strict with her on a lot of her training and stuff, but she's just so cute and most people don't mind. And she listens to me when I tell her to get down. She won't jump up on little kids. She's really good around little kids. She'll sit, she'll let them pet her. She's never bitten anybody. Um, she usually just wants belly rubs. She does get tired of children more easily than adults because they usually just like are a little bit more um, overwhelming, I think. But she's never been aggressive or mean or anything towards children. She's really good around kids. Okay, uh, I already answered where Winnie sleeps. She sleeps in our bed. And then lastly, what resource did you use that would be it, I forgot the word. What resources did you use in choosing Winnie? Like I said, I did a lot of research, mainly through books. I read a, as many Shih Tzu books as I could find and I read a lot of training books. I read like basically all of the Caesar Milan books. And who is that other one now? I can't remember her name. Victoria Stilwell, is that her name? Um, I read a lot of their books. 
I read uh, other dog training books. I read about dog food. I read about dog behavior. I read about potty training. I read about all of that. Um, and I just really tried to consume as much knowledge as I could before I even brought her home. Um, I read all of those things before she came home with me. I knew I was having Winnie, that Winnie was going to be, you know, my dog for like, you know, like two, two and a half months. So I had time to research those things and it was before I did YouTube and I had a lot more time. So, oh, and the phone is banging. Anyway, um, I did a lot of research and I do recommend, I mean, having a dog is a real responsibility and it's not just like having, you know, a stuffed animal, <laughs> even though she kind of acts like stuffed animal sometimes. This is a real live living thing who needs a lot of care, who deserves a good life. Um, and, oh, you done. I'm so done with this right now. And who, you know, I mean, I, I took it really seriously. She's part of my family. She's definitely a huge part of my life. And I took the time to really educate myself so I could be the best, um, you know, human mommy <laughs> to her as a pet. You know what I mean? Like I could be the best, um, care provider for her. I guess that's the best word. Anyway, this is probably a really long video now and I'm going to wrap it up, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit more about Winnie. You should check out our blog. I'm going to try to pick it up again. And, um, thank you for watching. We will see you guys again real soon. Bye. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Oh, that was a good job. Good girl. Did I interrupt your nap? Just a little bit. I think has a lisp. <laughs> okay, fun fact.